Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Bad Grisham, and today I'm going to show you a gaming PC build for $400. This is going to be a great starter PC build that will let you play at least every game you throw at it, assuming you're lower the settings for the brand new games like Batman Arkham Origins and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. You can easily play them with over 30 frames per second at medium to maybe high settings at 1080p. For older games like Skyrim, Battlefield 3, and Far Cry 3, you should be able to keep on high settings with over 30 frames per second. Other games like Minecraft and older games will be run maxed out perfectly with the system. This is mainly just to be an entry level build, so the specs won't blow you away, but this PC is upgradable, so you can always add on to this system. That being said, let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the AMD Anthlon X4 750K. This is a quad-core processor clocked at 3.4 GHz. It's actually very easy to overclock to 4 GHz if you have an aftermarket cooler. If you don't plan on overclocking, it's perfectly fine at stock settings, but if you want to pay a bit extra for an aftermarket cooler to bump up your speeds, I'll leave a link in the description. The Anthlon X4 750K will run you about $80. For a motherboard, I chose the MSI FM2 A75 MA E35. This is a great motherboard for this build as it supports overclocking with the processor. It has two USB 3 ports, six USB USB 2 ports, and it's overall just a great solid motherboard with a bunch of extras for only $60. For the graphics card, I chose the Sapphire Radeon HD 7770. Now, I originally was going to go with the 7790, which is currently near the same price, but at the time I made this video, it was sold out. I'll leave a link in the description for the 7790, and if it isn't sold out, I recommend you get this instead of the 7770 because it's the same price for a better card. If it is still sold out, don't worry, because the 7770 is a great card. This card is excellent for this build and will only run you about $90. Memory is rather simple, so I went with one 4GB stick of G-Skill Ripjaws X-Series DDR3 RAM. It's rated at 1600MHz, which is plenty for all your games and some multitasking. You can get a 4GB stick for around $40. For a hard drive, I'm going with the 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. A terabyte is plenty of space for all your games, movies, music, pictures, and it should be a great fit for all your storage needs. You can choose to go with the 500GB Caviar Blue if you want to make the build cheaper and put extra money toward the graphics card, but a terabyte of storage is really optimal to store all your media. It's your build, so do whatever you want with it. Caviar Blue comes in at about $60. The power supply is the most important part of any build because you need power to run your system. Remember never to be cheap with a power supply as it runs everything, so make sure you pick a quality supply over a good sale price. My recommendation is the Corsair CX430 watt power supply. It's an 80 plus bronze third power supply, which means it's a high quality power supply and it can help you lower the power bill. You can get this for around $40. The optical drive in this PC is really irrelevant unless you want a Blu-ray disk drive. Mostly, unless you use CDs, the only thing you're going to be using it for is to install the OS. I just got the cheap, reliable reader and burner, which is the light on. It will run you about $17. It's a very simple and basic drive, but if you want to pay a bit more for a Blu-ray drive, I'll leave a link for you in the description. Finally is the case. Once again, this is where personal opinion or general cheapness comes in. The case can either be what you show off to everyone, or just put under your desk and forget about. To keep this build moderately cheaper, and to have some extras, I went with the NZXT Gamma Classic. This case is a good quality case, with a simple style, and it holds everything together with good airflow. It has a few extras, such as space for a water cooler, which you don't see often in cheap cases. And I've had it for a few years without problems, so I highly recommend it. You can get this case for about $30. There you go guys, that's a great $400 build that should be a great starter PC that you can constantly upgrade. Now the price of these do change often, so I'll be leaving a link in the description to PCPartPicker.com, a website where you can make your PC build online and see the lowest prices for your components that you need. Since November and Christmas is right around the corner, I'll be making more videos for when the major deals come out for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Well that's it guys, so if you like this video and you want to see more of them, click on the like button. I have two other builds available, one for a $600 PC and one for a $1000 PC. Click on the links in the video if you want to see them. And if you enjoy my videos, click here to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it shows that you want to see more of my builds. I'll see you guys in my next video.